Hey, it's Galen with Go Codes. In this video, we'll be going over how to add relevant information to all of your assets in Go Codes. When you click on any asset ID, you'll be able to click on the Edit Info button in the corner. You can add any relevant information here, and when we hit Save, it'll show up back on our asset page. Let's look at some of the data fields and how they can be used to manage your assets and inventory. Asset Type is the first data field and is required for each asset. You can either select one of the preset options or select other and then enter anything you want. Make and model and serial number are self-explanatory. Reward is useful if you want to show a financial incentive to any public person who finds your asset and scans the QR code with their smartphone. It's optional, so skip it if desired. Description is also shown as a public field to anyone who scans the QR code. Many organizations use this data field to show the organization name, address, contact info, or any special instructions for the asset. Other asset ID is useful if you already have numbered assets with or without barcodes. The GoCodes app can scan almost any barcode too, so you can work with existing IDs and barcodes. Subtype and group are there to help you organize your assets. Last Service Notes is great for tracking service information. Recall that because we track all history, you can update this field as needed without losing prior information. Go codes can also send future service reminders based on any date you enter for next service below. Salvage value can be required for tracking financial depreciation. Status can be used to track the operational status of an asset through its life cycle. For example, from ordered, in service, needs repair, to end of life. The quantity and minimum quantity fields are used to track consumable inventory items like gloves, toner cartridges, or protective eyewear. The GoCodes mobile app has a special feature to simplify tracking quantities. You can also set up low quantity alert emails if desired. Documentation field is there to hold a web URL link, such as a link to a PDF service manual or another document library like Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. That's a summary of our standard data fields. You can also add your own data fields and drop-down menu options. Now we see the private info here and any public information pops up on the side. We're also able to add a picture and the location data will show up in this area. The check-in, check-out button over here lets us assign items to individuals with a location and a return date. Let's jump over to customization in the drop-down menu. Here you can enable notifications by email or text. Lower on the page, we have built-in fields on the left and custom fields on the right. They can be turned on or off with these switches, which will be reflected in your asset lists and information. That's all for this video. Be sure to check our channel for more videos on the GoCodes asset management software.